Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. It's that time of the year where I relieve my Techno Preset Bank. So on the past few years, I mainly done it with Ableton Wavetable, but I decided to change it a bit this year and it will be with Ableton Drift. And last year it was more about peak time type of techno and this year it's a bit more in the rad deep hypnotic side of it. And yeah, let's have a look what you get inside. All right, so you have your folder here and you have different type of folder. First, I'm gonna start, you have some drum loops. This is basically the drum loops I use for the demo. I always include them in the pack. So like this, you have some high Hats, drum, some kick drum, but I include as well with the rumble, some ride as well, any kind of drum sound that can get you started with the preset. And then I also include all the MIDI file for all of the presets. You also have the audio loops, which is basically just the audio printed from preset itself. And this year I also decided to include the construction kit. Uh, if you have a demo you like, you can easily find the preset you like because it's all name. So for example, there is this demo and you like the baseline, you know you can go in this folder and you have the name of the preset. Now, as usual, the preset come in three versions. So you will have the preset dry where it's just the Ableton Drift device. But obviously nowadays you always need a bit of effect to kind of get you sound a bit more interesting. So you also have what I call the wet version, which is basically exactly the same preset inside the instrument rack with some effect and processing. You can see you also have some macro. This is pretty handy, for example, to modulate your sound easily. Uh, sometimes you can even shape, kind of give different tone. And then you will usually have some effects. So for example, I like to put delay and reverb, so you can shut them down if you want to use your own delay and reverb straight away with the macro. And in some presets as well, I had side change this year because it's a quick way to easily get you pumping effect. So this you can shut it down as well if you want pretty quickly. And finally, the last version you got is a L ALC file, uh, which basically you can with this file just go and you can preview the sound. But if you like it, you can just double click. Then the cool thing is automatically creating a MIDI track with the MIDI file and the sound. You can hear as well, you also have the modulation from the MIDI clip, which is uh, recorded. So that's pretty cool. So let's have a listen to the demo so you can get you an idea what you can get inside. All the sounds except the drums are present. Right, and like I said before, the great thing is with the construction kit, you can easily quickly find the demo you liked and the preset has been used for this specific demo and get a direct access to the preset you need. Now I'm going to show you some of my favorite presets. So for example, you will have some bass more percussive, some are more like kind of your classic glide bass line. You also have bass line that you can kind of almost write melody with. Again, you have parameter you can play with. You have
have some bass which are a bit more weirder. But you also have this kind of very hypnotic bass. But also some more nasty. Type of sound. Now in terms of key sound you have stuff which are kind of more modern. But you also have some kind of weird hypnotic stuff. I try to introduce a bit more deep ambient kind of stuff called Regularly digging that lately, but yeah, still again more weird stuff. Nice one. Again, it's kind of more classic. of sound then you have some pad sound so again some kind of classic type of sound like some as well are more like kind of ambient type but you also got some weird pad as well then we have few stab so usually pretty effective Some of them are more hypnotic. Some of them are more like kind of SFX weird atonal sound. Some are kind of scary. Love that one. Kind of classic little scent. Some kind of stab as well, some kind of weird scent as well. And you also have some scent more like for dub, ambient. Obviously you can always play weird chord and adapt it to kind of more hypnotic techno, but yeah, you get the idea. And then I also added some texture sound. Which can be nice as well to add a bit of groove, like for example this one sidechain can be great. Kind of very weird background ambience that you can do. More percussive one as well. And yeah, that gives you an idea what you can find inside. I hope you will like it. Uh, if you want to grab it, the link in the description. It's a great way to support me. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye bye.